thanks for having me on today. Um, uh, I was watching, I was screening the um, show with my kids and they were so giddy because they loved How to Train Your Dragon and they've missed it. And they totally get the feel, the same feel as this show. I mean, once the dragon started flying around, they were all like, yes, like they couldn't contain their excitement. Um, and they loved seeing those little itty big connections like sheep and comments that the characters make from like the movies and stuff like that. So is the show like 1300 years in the future from that show or did you just put them in there just to get them connected? Um, it is, there is a connection. I will say that. <laughs> I know that's not much of an answer. It's kind of ominous. So if more will come, more will come through as yeah. more is I mean, you know it, released it. and shown. That's yes, just it. my kids. The the moment that they saw thunder, that was their biggest connection. And then like my six year old was like, oh, that's toothless kid. I just know it. And she just she has that in her mind that that is now yeah. you know who it is. Well, um, it is it is the same universe. If that answers your question. So this question is for you, John. Of course, the dragons is the first word in the name. Um, and my kids absolutely love them, like I said. So what was the design process behind them? Because you guys ended up matching some of the dragons to the main characters and it was done so well. So what was the design process behind the dragons? Well, again, we have this incredible art team led by uh, our art director, Nadia. And it, it was just, it's always a challenge when you take a show and then you move it into the future to have it feel new and fresh, but also harken back. Um, there was also discussion about um, expanding the language on the dragons a little bit. Uh, if you see um, uh, our character of June, uh, her dragon is inspired by uh, Chinese dragons. And so there was a design, there was a, a, an idea with, uh, with the two-headed uh, dragon to lean into a, a, a Chinese-inspired yeah, design. Um, and so I think that when we got into the modern world, you know, that brings with it modern sensibilities. And so uh, we look to capitalize, not capitalize, but to expand the language by, uh, uh, through those, those decisions. So this question is for Marcus. Um, you have uh, starred in some of my kids' favorite TV shows, most recently She-Ra, The Princess of Power, um, and in Dragon's uh, Nine Realms. I believe it's Keston John who voices Hordak, who is your dad? Yeah. So Hordak my question is, my also, how does that make you feel? Because you were um, both in She-Ra. And then um, what was it about the show that just made you want to work on it? And uh, how, how, how much do you love your dragon? Oh my God, my love for my dragon goes deeper than any audience member could know. Um, <laughs> I love Plowhorn so much. That's my girl. Every time I'm in the booth, I'm like shadow petting her. Like anytime I say a line to Plow Plowhorn, this is immediately what my hand is doing. And it just helps me get in the, that zone. Um, and then having Hordak for a dad is pretty sick. Um, Keston's voice. He has the best voice I've ever heard in my entire life. Like, I wish I could take his vocal cords and string them into my, whoa, a little violent, but, you know, otherwise, mm -hmm. I wish I could have Keston's voice and him playing Phil is just like a dream come true. That's my dad now. Um, I rock with him. Um, I'm sorry, there was three. There's one other thing that you had asked was. What, what just made you want to work on the show other than the super oh, cool cast dragon? I mean, just getting to uh, be a, a part of a story that, that, um, like John has spoken to before, really talks about family and those in that interconnectedness that we all have. I feel like we've all been going through, um, we've had some hard times recently and it's nice to have something that really illustrates how closely connected we really all are um, and how we can build those relationships out through trust and um, through adventure and exploration and learning new things together. Um, and I think if we all approach the world with that kind of mindset, it would be a better place, so. Um, that's what made me want to join uh, Dragons in the Nine Realms. Amazing. Well, it's a fantastic show, and I cannot wait for everybody to watch it. Thank you so I'm much. I'm so hyped for everybody to see it. <laughs>
Thank you.